This is the second part of the demonstration of the Optical Network Atlas, a Globema module for uh, optical schematics. In the first part, I have presented the basic features of the application. Now I'm going to present how to create the schematic and, and how to print schematics. So to create a schematic, we start a wizard that guides us through the whole process. At the beginning, we just select the mm, name of the, of the schematic and the schematic type. Now we are going to present to use the backbone schematics. Uh, we can utilize the, st the description of the starting object. So let's select the starting object. We can get the starting object by selection on the map, but we can also type the name of the location. <coughs> uh, the system filters the, the matching locations. We can double click to select the appropriate location and now the system looks for all the cables that are uh, terminated at uh, this location. When there are a lot of cables terminating on, in a single location, it might be easier not to look at the flat list, but have them grouped by the shelves that these cables are uh, terminated on. So let's go and generate a schematic for the FTTH network. So we select the OLT shelf and we select one of the cables that is uh, terminated at this, at this particular shelf. We can uh, go uh, and generate the schematic for all fibers that are within this uh, cable, but we can also, if necessary, limit uh, the uh, diagram to only a specific subset of, uh, of fibers. We can also limit uh, the schematic to a specific geographical area. Once we select all these, we can also uh, set uh, a number of options. Uh, these may, might be like the layout files for, for actual printing of the diagram or options like uh, should we group the fibers or should we stop the tracing engine uh, at uh, ODF ports or, or should they follow further. Once we create the create scan uh, button, the ONA tracing engine is activated and so it finds out, um, it does the tracing on the individual fiber level uh, to find what cables are involved, what splices are involved, what locations are involved to, in order to generate a schematic. So now the schematic is generated <coughs> and you can see, you can see the result, it's, it's been already uh, presented to the user. There is one additional functionality uh, in, in uh, this diagram that I would like to present. This is a possibility of uh, specific for the passive optical networks. So you can see that there, is a, uh, there are splitters. When there are splitters in the, uh, in the splices, they can be represented here. And also when the mm, fibers are terminated in other locations on splitters, they are also presented uh, on the diagram. Uh, so that's how uh, the generation of the schematic uh, looks. Uh, now we can uh, go and print this diagram. So we <coughs> the printing functionality utilizes the, the, the basic uh, uh, small world uh, layout engine uh, and lays out all the, uh, all the diagram on a set of pages. And there are special markers as the, the name Optical Network Atlas uh, it's, uh, implies that the, the module is uh, modeled on the road atlas. So you can have uh, a lot of uh, information on, a, on pages that could be easily printed out. So you don't need a large printer to, to print out this information, but you can utilize plain A4 printer uh, to print these schematics and use them like a, like a road atlas. So in order to navigate through this atlas, you can see that there are special markers. So you can see this is the high-level overview that is presented on the first page, and you can see on which pages the, the subsequent uh, elements of the diagram are, are, are laid out. And you can see those navigation, uh, small navigation elements that assist you uh, when uh, using this um, printout, uh, physical printout. So <coughs> we can now, uh, we can of course preview it uh, within small word, but we can print it to a, to a specific file. So let's set it up that we print it to a, to a separate PDF file. And now 
uh, the system generates the PDF file that can be later utilized in a variety of ways. It can be sent out uh, using email or, or it can be uh, printed out uh, uh, by a person who doesn't have uh, any uh, ways to, to uh, doesn't have access to small words. So the same information is now available uh, within the uh, within the PDF file, so you can uh, you can view it and you can print it without access to the small word system. This was the presentation of the Optical Network Atlas. Thank you for watching.